Welcome back to Bloomberg News. I'm Mark Crumpton. And I'm Julie Hyman. Now, we've been talking about the settlement that the Securities and Exchange Commission has reached with Angela Mazzillo, the former CEO of Countrywide Financial. That uh, settlement uh, reportedly reached at federal court in Los Angeles. Our Edvard Peterson is standing by with the details on the phone. Ed, thank you so much for joining us. What more can you tell us about this news? Uh, well, the, uh, the judge said this morning that he was contacted yesterday by the lawyers for Masillo and the other two executives that they had reached a settlement. Uh, the settlement terms were uh, disclosed today in court, and the judge approved them. So the, there's not going to be a trial next week. And, and what about the amount here of the, of the settlement? Uh, Mozilla has agreed to pay a penalty of two, 20, sorry, 22.5 million and pay 45 million in disgorgement. So his total is 67.5 million. Uh, the two other executives are paying lesser amounts. Uh, the former president, Sambal, is paying a $520,000 penalty and $5 million in discoursement. And the former chief financial officer, Taraki, is paying only a penalty of $130,000. Ed, Ed, take us uh, take us back a little bit. Walk us through this. What exactly was Mr. Mozilla accused of? He was accused of misleading countrywide investors about the kind of mortgages the company had been issuing over the last couple of years, uh, from about early 2005 to the middle of 2007. The SEC said he told investors that the mortgages they were issuing were all uh, proper and uh, there was no uh, significant risk to them. In fact, the SEC said they were uh, letting their underwriting standards slide to met any competitor just in order to be able to sell every mortgage onto the secondary market. So, uh, in fact, the uh, quality of the mortgages that Countrywide was issuing during that period was way worse than investors were led to believe. All right, Edvard Peterson joining us on the phone from outside federal court in and, L.A. And just for a little context here, I was just looking up the compensation history for Angela Mazzillo as head of Countrywide. In fact, that was one of the um, sort of controversial elements Very much after so, he yeah. left the company. So $65.5 million is the settlement amount, as Edvard just told us. Uh, in uh, 2002 through 2005, he made bonuses in excess of about $60 million. And he, on an annual basis, his salary was uh, at least $2 million. So just to give you a little perspective about how uh, this is going to leave Mr. Mazzillo in, in terms of his financial state.